here they are for one and all The moments are about to call Come on and sit down here with me They're here for you on your TV They are the moments They are the moments So come with me, give me your hand I'll take you up to moving land You can fly just like a bird And sing the best song ever heard There were the moments 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 One day, it was very windy in Moomin Valley and getting windier all the time. The island where our hero was stranded proved not to be a safe harbor for him after all. He was in danger. Grave danger. So what next? What will happen to him now? There could have been a volcano which suddenly erupted and the whole island was no more. Hmm. But that would bring the story to an end too quickly. Hmm? Oh! 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 Oh dear, dear, I should have closed the window with such a wind blowing. It's really stormy out there. Stormy? That's it? I like writing about storms. The clouds were gathering. My hero beware! There they go! Oh boy, look at that fight! Oh. <laughs> Draw, Snort Maiden! <laughs> ah! Oh, beautiful! It's just like snow! One more time! Oh. Don't do that! They belong to me! But you cut them so well, Sniff! Away! Well, that's Away! The way you're gonna be. I'm gonna Away. throw them too! <laughs> oh, right. oh, that looks really <laughs> good! <laughs> Sorry to disturb you, but could you be a bit quieter, please? I'm trying to concentrate on my book, and it's not easy with all this noise. Sorry. Thanks, Moomin. So what now? We'd better go out. We can't do this quietly. In this way? Listen, everybody, I've just thought of a new game.
Oh, dear, dear, Whatever's dear. the matter, Mr. Hemulin? I was mending the roof, and then suddenly out of the blue, little mud descended. Oh, I see. That hailstorm did a lot of damage, but not nearly as much as this. Whatever am I going to do without a roof over my head? Don't you worry, Mr. Hemulin. We'll fix it all for you, and that's a promise. You will? Okay, Moomin. Yes, of course. I've never repaired anything before. Of course we'll do it. Mr. Hemulin, by the time we've finished, it'll be better than new. Eh? Are you sure? Yes, and why don't we repaint the walls while we're at it in bright colors? Good idea. It is a bit gloomy in here. And I got plenty of paint at home. All right. Let's go and get all the things we need. Wait and listen. Don't worry. We'll be back. Oh, Come on, everybody. Hey. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> <sighs> They're very willing, but are they capable? Thank goodness it stopped raining, Mama. Now at last I can hang up the laundry. It's so nice to be able to have coffee out here on the veranda again. Yes, but tell me, dear, how are you getting along with your book? What? Oh, not so bad. Mama! Papa! Can we borrow the wheelbarrow? And the saw and the hammer and stuff? Yes, of course you can. We'll need those bits of wood in the cellar. All right. Sniff, we're here to work, you know, not to play. Not not playing? <laughs> what are you going to do with those little mines? They're super for painting walls. What walls? Hmm? Don't worry about it, Mama. We'll be back well before lunchtime. Moomin, what on earth are you up to now? Oh, we're just going to repair Mr. Hamulin's house. What? See ya! We'll pick up the paint at my house. Plank, Sniff! Yeah, yeah, just wait! You need help! It's too much for you. No, I'm fine. Oh. Oh. Hold on, let me do it. Give me this saw. Don't distract me, I'm trying to concentrate. All right, Sniff, all right. Hurry up, Sniff, I'm waiting! Snork Maiden. We'll just paint the floor pink, too. Come on. Oh, oh dear. You're in my way, Mr. Hamulin. You just go out and collect your plants. Everything's under control in here. Oh. I don't feel too good about leaving my house to them. I don't really trust them. During the week that followed, the Hemulans stayed with the Moomins, while Moomin and his friends redecorated his house. Hello, Moomin Mama and Moomin Papa. Why, it's you, Mumble. Where are you going? Are you off to Hemulans' house, too? Yes, they said it's finished and ready for viewing. I hear little Mai has done such a good job. That's nice, though I never would have let her redecorate my house. Why not, Mumble? Ah! Papa! Mama! Ah, hello there, Moomin! Hmm, well, I must say that looks like a remarkably good job to me. We hope so, Papa. Why don't you come and look inside? Oh, oh. Oh, goodness me. Well, the color scheme's a bit loud for an elderly person, maybe. Oh, no, it's perfect for a botanist. Don't you agree, Mama? Oh, yes, it's so pretty. Do you really think so? But don't you like it, Mr. Hamulin? Oh, I do. It's very unusual. Sleeping in this room will put you in the right mood for botanizing when you get up in the morning. I really envy you. You're so lucky, Mr. Hemulin. Thank you. That's very reassuring of you, Mama. This room might inspire you to make some exciting new discovery. 
We expect great things from you now. That's not quite how it works. Even so, you might dream about some new plants. Oh, dear me. You're so unscientific. <laughs> Uh, 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 frankly, I don't recognize my little old bedroom anymore. Every night from then on, the poor Hemulin was beset by a strange and disturbing dream. I've no idea where I am. I've never seen a flower like this one before. It must be a new species. Oh. Listen, little Mai, there aren't a lot of new plants left to discover. How do you know if they are still undiscovered? Yes, well, what I mean is there can't be very many. Just find one of them, Professor Hemulet. With this room, it's difficult not to make Professor a new discovery. Hemulet. Professor Hemulet! Just find oh, one of them, Professor Hemulet! Oh, please, stop it! Stop it once! Stop! Stop! Oh, oh, it was only a dream. Professor Hamilton! Oh, leave me alone! Oh, dear. Oh, dear. I simply cannot stay in this house anymore. Everything's fine! No problems! <laughs> oh, Mr. Hemulin! Why, hello, Inspector. What are you doing out here at this hour? Oh, nothing, really. Just a little walk before I go back to bed. Good night, Inspector. Strange to go walking in a nightshirt. Day, then. I don't know. I've just had an idea. I hope it's nothing to do with that umbrella. Jeepers, there's no wind today, Sniff. I thought we might go over to the Hemulin's house to do some more work. Good idea, little Mai. We could smarten up the outside, too. Mm, that is a good idea, Snork Maiden. Oh. Oh. No. What's that? Oh. <gasps> Mr. Hemulin! Mr. Hemulin! Mr. Hemulin! Oh, hello there. What are you doing sleeping out here in your nightshirt? Well, you see, I'm having this strange recurring dream. I'm walking in the woods and I suddenly start to feel tired. If you're sleepy, why not sleep in your beautifully painted bedroom? Ah, uh, yes, of course. As a matter of fact, we were on our way to your house just now when we found you here. We've decided we should paint the outside of your house as well as the inside. Oh, no, no, please don't do that. Why not? I mean, what you've done already is quite enough. Don't even think of doing any more to my house. Go away and play something nice. I'm going home now. What a very strange way for the Himalayan to behave. Yes, that's what we thought, too. Moman, you said he was wearing his nightshirt. Are you quite sure about that? Yeah. I met the inspector just now, and he said he saw the Hemulin in the wood last night, and he was dressed in his nightshirt. Oh. He said the Hemulin looked very dazed and sleepy. Maybe the poor man is suffering from insomnia. It's very odd behavior. It's just occurred to me that maybe he's not happy with the new colors in his room. What do you mean? I don't think 
think so. He seemed very pleased with it. He said so, and the walls are full of beautiful flowers. Yes, yes, of course you're right. I just can't sleep in this house anymore. Oh, Mr. Hemulin. Got any fish? No. And I've been sitting here since the sun went down. I think they're all asleep. Oh, lucky fish, I say. Huh? Well, good night now, Snufkin. Good night. Really? Mr. Hemulin? Yes. And he looked very tired indeed to me. No, what? Maybe Papa was right after all. If you want to know the truth, I think you should ask Mr. Hemulin himself. I think you're right. If he can't sleep there because of our painting job, then something must be done. We think you're keeping something from us, Mr. Hemulin. Keep something from you? That would be impossible. <laughs> I must say, you do look awfully tired. Uh, me tired? No, just look at this. <laughs> Watch out! Uh, Mr. Hemulin! Don't worry, I'm all right, just a bit dizzy because I got up so suddenly from my chair. If you can't sleep because you don't like the walls, then we'll repaint them exactly as they used to be. Eh? Oh, no, no, you don't have to go to all that trouble. I could sleep in here tonight. Don't! 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 Stop it! Stop it, please! I'm so sorry. I didn't know I was trespassing on your land. I won't ever do it again. Hello there, little owl. You're a lucky one. Fancy being able to stay awake all night and still not be tired. What's that light over there? Oh. Goodness. Oh my goodness me. Oh, this is truly incredible. Luminous flowers. Moomin! 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 Oh, 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 Mr. Hemulin! Get up! You must get up! Uh, oh, oh. Wake up, Moomin Papa, at once! Oh. Moomin Mama, wake up! Mama! Hmm? Mr. Hemulin! What's happened? What is it? Just you come with me. <sighs> now look at that. <gasps> oh. I've never seen anything so beautiful in my whole life. I didn't know there were flowers like that. That's the point. There aren't. It only blossoms in the night. It can only be found deep in the woods, apparently. So no one's ever seen it before. We're the first. This means you found a new species, Mr. Hemulin. Yes, indeed I have, Moomin. This is a great discovery. Goodness, you'll be even more famous. Congratulations, Mr. Uh, Hemulin. Uh, thank you, Moomin. <laughs> We're so happy for you, Mr. Hemulin. 
what a wonderful discovery. Yes, <laughs> but I only found him because of Moomin and his friends. Because of us? That's right. If you hadn't repainted my house so that I couldn't sleep at night, I would never have found these flowers. So you see, I'm very, very grateful to you all. Wow. Well, I must tell you the truth. No, no more about that. It's over and done with. Mama, what do you say, my dear, if we throw a big party tomorrow to celebrate Mr. Hemulin's wonderful discovery? Good idea. Then we better get back to bed so we can get up early and start our preparations for the party. Well, thank you. You go back to bed if that's what you want to do. I'll stay here and make observations till the morning. I think they probably disappear at daybreak. <laughs> Interesting. You missed a bit over here. Yeah, yeah. Just a little bit. No. Yeah. Oh, you guys, come on. Oh, where's all that noise coming from? Oh, come on. Oh, that looks good. Yeah, okay. Yeah, that's good. Yeah. Oh, good morning. We're repainting it so it looks exactly as it used to look. So you can sleep properly all night again. Oh, why did you go and do all this? Huh? Stop it! Stop repainting immediately, do you hear me? And don't you ever redecorate my room again! I love it, and now I'm going back to bed! And so the Hemulin came to like his rather gaudy bedroom after all. He slept well again, but had an occasional walk at night, because at night you never know what you might find. <laughs> 